Hey guys, I'm going to another episode of Crane's Comics. Sorry if I seem a little cramped for space here. I kind of moved my TV over to this wall over here. I've been playing Batman Arkham City to prepare me for Batman Arkham Knight. Now I do know that Batman Arkham Origins came out too, but right now I have access to Arkham City, so that's what I've been playing just to get my groove on back with Batman. But anyway, we're here to talk about comic books and the ones that I have read like over this past weekend. So I went ahead and I started reading I started getting back into Spider-Gwen. Um, I do have up to number four, and I do have number two right here. So, basically, this book is super boring. What goes on in this book is Gwen Stacy return or finds herself fallen from Vulture, and she's in a big pile of trash with Spider-Ham or Spider-Pork or Spork or whatever you want to call them. But anyway, she sees him and she thinks that she's going mental because she sees him because he's a cartoon, which technically they're all cartoons. It's cool. And then she starts to worry about her phone because her phone's missing and this, that, and the other. So this book is actually very boring. I hope that this series picks up and picks up very fast because I'm super bored with this already. And I'm up to number four. And by the time I finish reading number four, if I'm still bored with it, I'm just going to cut it off. I was super excited whenever this series first came out and now it's just kind of dying down for me. So next up we have Convergence Flash Convergence number one. Now I don't know if you're familiar with the Convergence series. This actually takes place where he, where Flash, Barry Allen, actually Barry Allen because he's not really the Flash anymore, but he is in Gotham City. He was there to do some work and in his actual life he is married to Iris and he's a superhero as the Flash but in Gotham City I guess one night where he went to Gotham City he um, the dome went over Gotham and he lost all of his powers and that's kinda where this takes place I'm kinda iffy on this whole Convergent series I kinda like where it's going there's some that I like some that I don't but he's basically butthurt and I don't like it whenever comic book people are butthurt. Uh, Aquaman Convergence number one. Basically same thing. He is in, I want to say Metropolis. Uh, his character is kind of like in a different city where they're usually not, but I want to say that he's in Metropolis and obviously you can tell from the cover he doesn't have his hand. Um, it's kind of strange, it's kind of weird, and yeah that's all that you can really say to justify is that it's strange and that it's weird. He doesn't have any superpowers either. I'm not loving this whole series, yeah. I don't know if you can tell too, it kind of looks like he's wearing a diaper. It's kind of weird. Things I noticed, sorry. Things I noticed, it's kind of weird. So he doesn't have a hand, he's wearing a diaper. And basically this just, I was really excited about this book because whenever the New 52 came out with it, granted it was Jeff Johns and not whoever this guy is, it was awesome. Now this just really just went downhill real fast and I did pick up number two as well but number one is just it's just him kind of adapting to his own environment he kinda abandoned like he kinda goes to the aquarium of the Pacific cause even though he did lost his, lose all of his powers he still needed to be in water and have that salt water intake or whatever but um so he did go to the aquarium of the Pacific and yeah, he couldn't really stop any bad guys or anything, but then this is where everything gets kind of real, where he actually has to fight this guy, and I forget what his name is in the book itself, but he fights this guy, and he's he's actually getting really weak, because the, uh, the guy that he's fighting puts him into like a steam room to absorb all the water out of his body, so he's basically slowly killing Aquaman. Uh, but there's this guy in this book, the the main villain, he can't die, and I don't know if you can tell, first I didn't know what was on his face, and it kind of just looks like paint, but it's actually supposed to be blood, and the reason why that is, is he goes all He-Man and stabs a dude in the neck and makes blood squirt everywhere, and the only reason he does that, normally DC characters don't kill anyone, but the reason that he does that is A, he, the, his opponent can't die, and B, there's a ton of salt water inside of our body, apparently. Uh, that's what the little nerd tech people were telling them, so. Yeah, I read both of these books, they were okay. Um, 
The only Convergence book that I've actually really liked was Green Arrow. So, thanks guys for watching. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your Tuesday.